Hey guys, Meet Rebel Chris Tomer here with this Tuesday afternoon evening mountain weather update. We got to go to radar because here it is the leading edge of our first atmospheric river pattern of this season, and it's going to be a good one. Um, you can see the heavy precip, and there's a lot of wind as well coming in with this thing. Um, heavy precip approaching the coast, Washington, Oregon, Northern California. Shasta appears to be one of the biggest bullseyes out of this entire event with. Over the next 36 hours, 100 mile an hour winds, in fact, 115 mile an hour winds over Shasta, and we're going to see feet of accumulation over the top of Mount Shasta. So that's radar. It's just getting started. Um, and I got to show you the leading edge of this thing. This storm system is a big boy. Look at this thing. I mean, it, it, it is qualifying as a bomb cyclone because the pressure is dropping so rapidly. It's, it qualifies, uh, and it, it looks very impressive i mean there's our area of low pressure it almost looks like a tropical lake system the pressure should drop to a min of 940 940 millibars so that is a strong storm system you can see the flow behind it very impressive and you see this band right here i should mark that in line because this is going to be our atmospheric river fetch almost like a fire hose in the atmosphere it's reaching all the way back into the Pacific and it's escorting all this new moisture and it's going to slam it up against the West Coast, the terrain features, the cascades, the volcanoes and the Sierra. And that's why we're going to see such an impressive pattern. So the entire coast, all the high features are going to see big snow, heavy rains at lower elevations with a lot of wind. And eventually this is going to get carried into the interior. There's like two or three different storm systems lined up that will carry the moisture beyond the West Coast and into the interior. So Idaho looks good. Montana, Wyoming, Utah, Colorado will all get involved in this during this time period in the extended forecast. And the latest forecast for integrated vapor transport still has it as a moderate to entry level strong um, atmospheric river event between 1120, basically all of tomorrow, through 1123. That'll be the, the, the key window for the West Coast. But then, like I said, the storm systems are going to carry this moisture through the interior. There's going to be overrun. There's going to be blow off into the interior states. So everybody will get in on this action. Here are my key dates for snowfall to watch. So for the Wasatch, Tetons, Colorado, Tahoe, and Interior, BC, I'm not going to go through all these dates. Um, but just for example, you know, like I said, two or three different storm systems. Tahoe, your biggest, the start of all this, the big batch comes in. Um, late tomorrow through the 21st, moderate to heavy accumulations. And then it's really heavy, 1122 afternoon through 23 and 24 through 25 and 26. So a pretty prolonged stretch here. And you can see the dates for the other ranges as well. Let's get into the forecast radar and satellite. So this is by 530. And look at the that, that storm system. You can see the spiral, um, that bomb cyclone right there. Bam, just hits the coast. By tomorrow morning, everybody's in it. All the way from BC down to the Cascades, the volcanoes, into Northern California. Not quite to Tahoe yet, but right there. Then, as that kind of shifts to the south a little bit, it does affect Tahoe, but it's not Mammoth yet. And look at the blow off into Idaho and parts of Northwest Montana, interior BC, all benefiting from this pattern. And keep in mind with these atmospheric river setups, it brings in a lot of warm air. So we're going to be talking about higher snow levels across a lot of the west coast all right so thursday morning thursday afternoon new storm right here you see the, the spiral see the spin coming in new storm system refreshes everything brings more precip more valley rains and more mountain snows and look at that that one goes even further to the south and affects mammoth finally so the rest of the sierra gets in on the action look at the blow off into idaho now into the tetons finally and then some of the wasatch Hyoen is getting in on the action, 24, and then it re and then the whole diagonal, the whole jet starts to blow that moisture into parts of Nevada, the rest of Utah, and then it focuses on western Colorado in the high country. Right there, heavy snow through a lot of the mountain corridors into 25 in the morning. And that's not it. Here comes the next storm system into California, and that refreshes everything and recharges the snow. And once again, through Colorado, and then the flow shifts from the north. We'll have to watch for a Canadian cold front. All right, my latest numbers. So rest of today through tomorrow, we could be looking at three feet in just that short amount of time over the top of Mount Shasta. Looking at about a foot from Mount Ashland, anywhere from 8 to 16, uh, from Bachelor through Timberline and Crystal Rainier up to 
Uh, Whistler Black home, and again, some blowing into the interior parts of Idaho, northwest Montana, and interior BC. Second period is pretty wild, um, still looking big for uh, a lot of the Sierra, a couple of feet for Mammoth, another three feet, well, three feet for, in this time period, for Tahoe, and another three feet or more for Shasta. So when you add up the first and second time periods, Shasta should end up between 80 and 90 inches. <laughs> it's going to be crazy. I mean, seven feet of snow, six, seven feet of snow with 115 mile an hour winds. I mean, it's that's that's something. That's a big storm. Looking at about a foot for the uh, the Wasatch and in Colorado, looking at one to two feet, especially for the western slope in those purple shaded areas. Um, some places won't get as much, but generally one to two feet for a lot of the key spots. Yeah, the Tetons looking at about a foot, brought those numbers down just a touch. Looking at uh, potentially 8 to 12 through Sun Valley and Brundage. And pretty good numbers uh, through parts of BC during this time period. So this is a very interesting pattern. We've got the, the atmospheric river. It is now hitting the West Coast. And we're in for it. We're in for quite a period between 1120 and 1123, but even beyond that for a lot of the interior states. Guys, thanks for tuning in here. I appreciate it and have a great night.